Well, good Monday afternoon, everybody out there. It's kind of a cloudy, gloomy day. What else is new? It's the way it's been the last uh, few weeks here. We do have some brighter skies in the forecast, so we'll talk about that in just a moment. Here's our latest storm system making its way here. It is actually technically a nor'easter, and it is bringing some rain and wind our way. You can see it on radar nicely here. Over the next couple of hours, it will spread across the Bridgewater area, and so we are up for kind of a wet evening out there. Uh, it's also going to be a bit breezy. You can see as we zoom in here, these are the winds for the next 24 hours. And some of these yellows have winds generally in the 30, 35 mile per hour gusts. So keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling later on tonight. Not only will it be on the wet side, but also a bit on the breezy side. How much rain are we talking about? Well, on the screen area, we have generally a half inch to about an inch of rain. Uh, so that's generally will affect Bridgewater down towards the Cape, back towards Worcester. Now off to the north and east, a little closer to that developing system, we will have a bit more in the way of rain. And some of that is actually the equivalent to liquid equivalent to snowfall that's going to be coming down. A good chunk of the White Mountains here are going to be picking up close to 6 to 12 inches, maybe even a bit more. This is one of our more reliable models to give you an idea of what the potential is for. And some of that accumulating snowfall, we even go back in towards the Berkshires. And do not be surprised to see some snow and sleet mixing in really anywhere in the northeast, even in here in Bridgewater, perhaps, as we have some really cold weather for this time of year. We are under a small craft advisory in the orange areas, a gale warning in the blue, and also winter weather advisories for parts of northern New England. It's cool out there now. Temperatures generally right around 50 degrees, but the dew points are in the mid-30s. So as the rain begins and those temperatures come down towards the dew points, it's going to feel pretty chilly around here for the middle of May. So for tonight's forecast, what you see is what you get. More rain developing, overnight low right around 42 degrees. Once we go through the system, though, you can see a good chunk of the country starting to warm up here. We're in the 80s in parts of the Dakotas this afternoon, Montana as well, 70s and 80s across the southeast. And some of that's going to try to make a run here later on this week. But it won't be for the next couple of days. We've got these lows that are going to be pretty stubborn, really not going anywhere. And bringing more rain shower activity towards our neck of the woods. It's a steady rain and snow for central and northern New England. As far as our weather tomorrow, we've got that chance of rain. Again, steadiest uh, the first half of the day, but showers pretty much at any time. Wednesday is the pick of the week here with drier conditions and temperatures near 60. Thursday and Friday, there is again a chance of showers, but they'll be part of a warm front that will be moving through. And if you can kind of get your way through those showers. The return here is for sunshine in warmer temperatures by the time we get to the weekend.